of the morning to ya. What are you up to this Monday morning? It's 518. Are you still in bed? I'm not. I'm on my way to Kansas City to get rid of this oh, beef juice. Well, I did a bunch of jamming over the weekend. Uh, last night I picked up my Jetstream 390, my Reverend, and do a little doodly-doo tunes on it. And uh, fingers got a little tired and wore out and had to take a break. And a uh, little acoustic guitar uh, Saturday night and I uh, put up there. And hope y'all like my jamming stuff. I have no idea. I don't know how to read music. I just go with the flow. You know, I learned my pentatonic scales. A couple of them. I'm still learning to this day. I've only been playing four years. Night before, pre -co right when COVID hit. Right before COVID hit. When I started playing again. And before, I only played for a few months beforehand. That cheap old $200 Epiphone that I used to jam on. And got bored and didn't touch it for years. Thanks to COVID, I decided to want to learn everything. You know? It's great to pick up a musical hobby if you're interested. It's expensive, though. Just remember... It's expensive. Very expensive. Hey, the more money you spend, it's true, the better instrument sounds, and the better you are playing. I'm sorry, you can hand me a $200 guitar, and I can jam on it, but hand me a $5,000 guitar, and I'm ten times better. Something about the skill and the sound and tone. It just works. But, all right, enough of this uh, gibber gabbering and stuff. I gotta get on the road and go deliver this so I can make money to support my musical habit. Plus, Christmas is here, and then it's time at the beginning of the year. You know, the drill. Money, money, money. It all comes and it all goes. So, let's start this shite show. I don't wait. Come on.
truck's waiting, but I'm sure this truck's unloading. Yeah, I see one truck. Yeah, it's uh, 8.25. It just opened up 25 minutes ago, so they probably got like four or five trucks waiting. Maybe. I see two in front. Gotta get up on the scale and check into that little trailer next to the port potties Yeah, I was talking about last week how we unload and load off rails. There we go. They swap tanks, tankers out here the rail every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Go check in and I'll be right back. Who to do? Check the trailer into the trailer shop, and I go drop it in the dirty lines to get washed. 
Oh, some nuthead decided to steal lights off my trailer over the weekend. <laughs> you know, I, shit never surprises me, you know. The, the, I don't understand. They took my front marker light, the rubber grommet that holds the light, and the pigtail that plugs the light in to electricity. I cut the wire off, stole the pigtail, the whole assembly thing, and then went to my ABS light, right? Did the same thing. Cut the ABS light, stole the little pigtail and the light and the rubber grommet. Why? Why? Because the ABS one is white and it says ABS, and the front marker one is yellow. But I guess when you're a meth head, you don't have to have rhyme nor reason. You just do stupid shit that don't make sense. Oh, man, I'll show you here in a sec. I got to drop this dirty trailer off and then go pick up my uh, clean trailer and then go get my washout, drive 90 miles to Sergeant Bluff, Iowa, and pick up some death, huh? Some death what? Some death who? Some DEF. And then by that time when I'm done loading, I'm going to probably have enough time, about an hour left of my day, to give me time to find a truck stop, shut her down. So it is a full Monday for my booty. Beautiful. Go back a little further. Boink! Alrighty. Alright, let me show you show you what the meth heads of Springville, Missouri stole off my truck. And you know, I had a side box, I had stainless steel adapters. Now some of them adapters just small like 2 female. That's like 125 bucks or something. I think maybe less than that. Like $80 though. But they'll steal a freaking light bulb that walk past an $80 adapter. <laughs> Funny shit. Alright. One sec, let me get my stuff done, drop this trailer. Let me show you what they stole. Oh, shoot, it's on the other side of the truck. Ah, hold on. Let me walk underneath my truck. Look, right here. They're on. You know what I'm saying? They stole the ABS light, the rubber grommet, and then they cut the end. I mean, that looks like, uh, they don't look like that. That looks like snips. How much these in and up front where the marker light is? The same thing, see? Same thing with the marker light. Cut it. That one looked like it was cut with a knife, but... Call underneath and dolly this freaking trailer down. I'm saying shit don't make sense. Put my glove on. Spin a rooney! Never want to put your landing gears all the way to the ground. Always leave about an inch, you know? And then let your air off the bags. So when the next guy comes, the trailer isn't sitting on the ground, and it's easy for him to dolly the legs up. Just common courtesy for the next driver. Actually... There we go. See? All right. Whew. All right. To be continued. Hmm. I'm gonna put some gloves on. Jeez, no peach. Look at now. Took up our stuff. Took up our important stuff. Get over here, light. Hey, let's do the light first. Since I grabbed it first. The good Lord said, in the beginning days, there's a universe when boom, it could be light. Okay, quit being stupid now. All right, we all know the blue goes with blue. Unless you're colorblind. And uh, I don't know which one would be darker, blue or red. That look the same. Hey, that light's not stolen like the other trailer by the meth head. I don't know how they ABS last time I said. It's like I got a sealed up trailer. Oh no, I'm near the poopy plant. They all work in. Someone could dunk a dunk the booty on that trailer. I don't like these lights because they're recessed. When you drive down the road, you don't know if they're on or not unless you turn a corner. What? Enough seals down? Not enough seals? <laughs> yeah, they don't even, where I'm going, they don't even check the seals. See, that's why you. That's why you dolly the legs down, or you, you don't put the legs down all the way. You leave a little gap so someone's not struggling to get it. So I'll shut this off too, but continue. Whew, excuse me. Hi ho, hi ho! Got my trailer and washout. One of the washout guys. He's now selling the good glass bottles, Mexican Cokes at work out of cooler and Doritos and, and Cheetos. For a dollar bag, two dollars for a bottle of the good cane sugar Coca Cola. I said, that's a good deal. I'll take a bottle of that sugar cane coke cola and I'll save it. I'll put it in the freezer part and get so cold. And when you open it, it ice is, yeah. That's when you know you got a good iced coca cola. Uh, I got 90 miles to go to Sergeant Bluff, pick up this uh, diesel exhaust fluid. Def, huh? Def, ooh. That's right. D E F. Yeah. Thanks, California. Alright, till we continue.
exist no more. But Copy Ogre used trucks they used to drive. They put different logos. They went out of business. Sold out one from Dirt Propane to Dirt and LLL to LLL Transport to BTC. And uh, it isn't the same anymore. Nothing is usually. But, alright, well, I'm only about oh, 30 miles away from my stop. It's 315. And it's not a bad day. I'm almost up to Sioux City and it's 53 degrees outside. That's pretty nice. Nice hoodie weather. Uh, that's it. I'll meet you over at CF Industries and pick up that. Uh, yep. Yeah. do propane they make good money they make about three thousand dollars a week but they bust their booty these guys in hydras there's money but there's so many companies that went into hauling hydras ran a lot of other smaller companies out or whatever you know but that's how trucking works get rid of your competitors and make money all right i gotta watch this little light here he'll tell you when to stop when to go And then I got a little piece of paper that you see right here. And I put it in this little mail tube to the left. See, so got a little sign right there. Stop, red, yellow, back up, green, forward. But the light is in the middle pole. So I can't see it right now. I'm just hoping I don't close my dome lid. be continued. Hmm, darn it. You know what? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this week's gonna suck. Number one, I didn't refill my Wellbutrin, so I only got like two or three days of Wellbutrin left. And then, number two, I bought a massager, one of those shiatsu shoulder massagers that hang over and you can move down your back. This is just so good, especially when you're lying in bed on your side and you just 
wrap it and pull the one thing over and you could just move it up and I fell asleep Saturday night with that thing just mad. Thank God it shuts off after about 15 minutes of use. I left that in the back of my leg. I have no one to rub my back all week and no well view. <laughs> I'm gonna go proud now. Okay, I'm back now. I'm done having my pity party, but that does suck. Man, I'm so pissed. Man, this little butthead of a phone. I didn't even finish what I was saying and it stopped. It said, hey, you go clean out your trash in your gallery. You don't have enough space on your phone to record a video or take a picture. And I go, ah! I forgot. It's only 128 gigabytes or something, something like that on, on this phone. It sounds like a lot. Back in the day, it was a shit ton. But I've had my phone up to 1.5 terabytes because of SD card slots. And this don't have an SD storage card. So <clears throat> got to keep deleting videos after a couple days or it fills up. But with that, I should be almost done. Let me check my suspension gauge. Dude, that's my suspension gauge where that truck to the very right said that's 43 PSI. When it gets about 59, 60, it should be full. So that put me around 79, 60 will put me around 79,000 pounds. And that's what it's probably going to say is 59 or 60 PSI. If it says 61, that's be getting close. Actually, that's like 79, 5, 7, 9, 8. But see, my engine oil is 178. And like my, my braking, if I push down the brake pedal, then, then that PSI, like, you know, you know. It's 409, not 509. All right, back to me pointing on my phone. Man, now I got like that sciatic nerve in my back. So I bought that massager. And I left that home. That's straight bull honky shite. It's gonna be a rough week. I already can tell. <sighs> Sunballs in my eye. Oh, that sunball can be bright. Dang, he's 84,880. Holy smokes, brother. You're not legal. Unless you got a permit and they're saying you're allowed to drive over 80,000 pounds. Only place I know, I don't know what. Uh, Iowa. If they have an 85 or if they have, you know, 80. I know Kansas has an 85.5, but you have to have a uh, permit. I know when I was, used to drive for Girton, propane, I got a tanker truck that I showed you, had that faded logo. Yeah, they were licensed to go 85.5. So, only in Kansas. But like if you're in Michigan, heck, they got like, or Wyoming, they got like 140,000 pounds. Yeah, he's like, you want this one? I go, nah, I'll just wait for this guy. There's two scales on this. I just let the anhydrous guys use the outside one. I always take the inside, even if I have to wait. It's just a polite thing to do. So he's an old timer, so. Actually, never mind. He's like my age. <laughs> I just call myself an old timer. Oh, God. I am over the hill. I am over middle aged. You know, I was sitting there thinking an average age of a male is like 75. So when you hit 37 and a half, you are middle aged. You hit 38, you are over the hill. 
people gotta make do And if you live long enough, it's happening to you Sooner or later, everybody poops Everybody poops Everybody poops Congratulations! You made it through a whole other day of My very chocolate life! Yeah, put up with me! Whole another day! And tomorrow! Hey, we made it through the whole day, let's see. Uh, now we drove about two hours and 16 minutes and I have a little drive time. Got a couple hours left. I'm not pooped, don't work 12 hours a day. I had delivered loads from Springfield to Kansas City, dealt with a frozen line of tallow lard and had to heat it with the torch, took about a half hour. Then I had to drive from Kansas City all the way back to Omaha, drop off my dirty trailer, check it in and get fixed because dang, break it! Meth, meth head light thieves from Springfield, Missouri. Watch out for the meth head light thieves. They'll steal your light bulbs. Walk past something that's worth two, three hundred bucks just to steal something that's worth two dollars. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Nothing surprises you anymore. You deal with people stealing shit off your truck all the time. The lug nut covers all the time. I just prefer to keep the little shiny chrome shit off the lug nuts. It's bare steel. Who cares? You don't have to buy stupid shit. Save your money. And then, and then lights. That's the biggest thing. People steal trailer lights. Have you ever done it? I ain't saying shite. Okay with that? <laughs> I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you had a good Monday. It's, it's almost 5 o'clock. It's Din Din time. And I'm sure you've already eaten Din Din by the time you watch this. And you're going to bed. Wake up for tomorrow. And uh, if you had a rough day, I hope it gets better. You know? It always gets better. Just remember, this big old ugly lug loves you. Jesus Christ will always love you to the bitter end, no matter what. And that's it. You know? One day at a time and get through this crazy thing called life. Especially trucking life. It's rough. Sort of. It is and isn't. Alright, to the do. See you tomorrow.